Welcome back. How frustrating is it when you call your bank or utility company and, you know, you talk to a robot? Yeah, pretty frustrating. And apparently people in Spain really don't like it. There's a bill going through Spain's parliament that would force companies to answer calls with a real human if somebody requests it. Okay, I like this. I like that idea, yeah. too. Yeah. Yeah. This would go for basic services like utilities, phone, and internet. They would have to have humans on the other line 24 hours a day, every day of the year. And if a customer complains about something, the company has two weeks to get back to them or face a fine that could be thousands of dollars. Meanwhile, we talked about Applebee's now having operators like in other countries. Just so, to do your to-go order. Yeah, doing the opposite. Isn't that wild? It is yeah. wild. Yeah, you got to. Talk to, you know, South Korea or something. Yeah. No. Order from mm. Applebee's. Yeah. This is crazy. Elvis themed weddings are a staple of Las Vegas, right? Mm -hmm. But turns out they're also trademark violations. Yeah. So at least this is according to the owners of Elvis's estate. The company that owns the king's name and image is ordering all Las Vegas chapels to stop holding Elvis themed ceremonies. That is unbelievable. <laughs> well, is. they sent cease and desist letters to several of the chapels. The company says in person. Nating Elmas Elvis is commercial exploitation and trademark violation. But with the Vegas wedding industry, they say that this will destroy the industry, and I believe that. Mm -hmm. Weddings in Vegas make about two billion a year, and the leaders say, there say a lot of it is because of, you know, Elvis. What Courtney if it's and Travis had to be married by an Elvis impersonator at their first Vegas chapel? Card wedding. Kardashian. Yes. Yes. Yeah, Yes, that was like a non-negotiable in their thing. I didn't know who you were talking about, but barely. <laughs> what if it is a bad impersonator like that one? Does it count? Because it really like doesn't look like Elvis. They're probably right. just drunk and don't really care, right? Okay. Wouldn't you think? I don't mm. know. It's so weird. Well, there are Elvis impersonators everywhere. That's true. I mean, how are they going to stop them all? And I didn't know that there was a, a company that, like, holds Elvis's image, no. like, on the copyrights for it. That's crazy. That makes sense. Yeah. Well, we'll see how they that works bank. out. Oh yeah, so there's a shortage of what seems to be everything right now. We know this. Here's the latest one, popcorn in movie theaters. Don't you come for my popcorn, mm. uh-uh. It is another supply chain problem. So what, what kind of supply is actually needed to get popcorn back? Well, <laughs> it may not be what you expect. Here's an explanation from a theater operations director in Connecticut. For a certain time a few months ago, it was difficult to get the canola oil for the popcorn. And it wasn't because they didn't have enough oil. It was because they didn't have the glue to um, um, enclose the box that the oil bit goes in. Oh, okay, man. so it's a glue shortage. Who knew? Can we just switch to vegetable oil <laughs> or like olive oil? And oil I that mean, doesn't use the glue like, in the box? <laughs> is it just a canola oil thing? <laughs> <laughs> I'm willing to try another oil and keep Truly, it popcorn. Truly, I'm with you 100%. I feel right? like I've solved the problem. Yeah. Well, you go to a movie, you got to have popcorn, so they need to figure this out. It's the only thing. I take I mean, salty over sweet typically, you know? Yeah. And they yeah. make so much money off of that yeah. popcorn. I mean, popcorn is yeah. relatively cheap in general, and then they charge 16 bucks for oh, like yeah. a large. It's and insane. Yeah. And we get the refill. <laughs> And it is so unhealthy, but so good. I know. <laughs> Mine's like butter and salt with a side of popcorn. Yeah, Love right. that. Super healthy. Do you guys right. do extra butter? Oh, oh girlfriend. No, not no. Try. I try not to. And I do. extra butter? I be uh, oh, yeah, healthy. you got to have your popcorn. I don't care if they make it with motor oil. I've got to have my popcorn. <laughs> uh, they Come do on. make it with motor oil, don't they? That's right. I think they do, as a matter of fact. <laughs> Some of the finer theaters.